After that defeat to Chatham, was that an important win to them? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We had to bounce back. Um, I think first and foremost it's credit to us and the team and the club how we've gone, I think, what was it, 38 games unbeaten. So it was always due a loss. Um, unfortunately, we lost to one of our challenges. But on the day, I think, you know, in parts we played well. Um, but on reflection, possibly they could have come away with the three points as they did or it could have been a draw. could have went either way. But most important thing is coming back with three points, starting the season again. And uh, that's exactly what we've done today. As past captain of the club and obviously captain for the last couple of games, what, what have you been saying to the lads to, to get them up and ready for it today? Um, I think it, everyone was saying the same thing really, um, whether it's me, whether it's mids, whether it's Hills, management, whoever it may be, even the non-senior players, we just had to bounce back. Um, I think if we played with the intensity that we did against Cham, we would have got the points and that's exactly what we've done today. I think we played well in spells, could have played a lot better, certainly the first 30 minutes, but once we were on top, we controlled the game, and as always, we're always going to create chances, and thankfully today we took, took three of those and come away with three points. Happy with your goal today? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've scored harder goals, but they all count. Um, personally, I would like to have got more for the season, but when they fall in front of you with an open goal, it's just, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. You've got to take them as they come. And of course it's not also about scoring goals, it's also playing a part in the goals we do score and you've got to assist to them. Yeah, again, always good for the position I play, you always want to try and create and help the team in the best way, but on my knee, whether I've got the assist or not, as long as we've got the three points and we're still still up there, um, what is it, January now, we've got a long way to go, got to just keep ticking games off, um, and the most important thing is three points. I asked one of the, the other lads a, a similar question, but is it easier or harder being the chaser or, or the, the ones at the top of the pole at this stage of the season? Um, I think personally chasing. You know, the, once you're at the top position, which we was for the majority of the, the first half of the season, you always are kind of looking over your shoulder, whereby when you are second or third or challenging for that top spot, you kind of play without the pressure, um, a lot more freedom, and with the players we have and the creativity we have, everyone gets to express themselves a little bit more, and, um, and we certainly churn out results better when we're the chasing team, in my opinion. Are you ready for a very hefty uh, fixture schedule coming up? <laughs> yeah, I think one of the lads said it there, or, only, or Marcel, one of them. I think it's 10 games in five weeks, and um, everyone's going to be important. You know, that's, that's the reason why we've got a a good depth this year. Um, I think last year, you know, it was unfortunate to, to obviously the COVID situation and even the year before, but I do feel that this year we have a lot more depth within the squad um, and everyone's going to have to pay their part. Like the likes of today, Junior comes in, does brilliantly. We've got multiple players that can play in multiple positions, which is just credit to the recruitment side of things. And we're going to need absolutely everyone from, from now to the end of the season, really. It's going to be a big task.